but here's the female. You can see these folds of skin down the side. This is very typical after they've laid eggs, because also obviously she's lost a lot of volume. So it looks like she's definitely laid. The other female is her younger sister. Did you lay your egg girl? That's her defense posture, and she'll try and slap me with her tail now. Okay, well, let's have a look. See if she's laid any eggs. We've been waiting about a month. So, let's have a look. Okay, well, I saw the female digging here yesterday. And the hole's been closed up. The female looks a bit thin this morning. So let's have a look around and see if we can find the eggs. Okay. So Komodos normally dig a, a very, well, not a very long, but a long burrow. Maybe one metre deep or less. Where they deposit up to maybe 30 something eggs. I think the record's about 36. So, I've been waiting a long time for this, so let's have a look. See what's there. She laid a small clutch of eggs last year, which was only 13, which were all infertile. But for a young female, for the first time, it's quite normal. Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Right. Hang on a minute. Can you feel something here? Ah, yeah. Fantastic. There you go. A Komodo dragon egg. It looks perfect. Nice, fat, healthy, white. It's a sign of a good egg. Let's see if we can find some more. Yep, yeah, there's another one. There you go. That one looks a bit deformed, but it may be okay. Hang on a minute. I touch something here. And gently. I don't want to resolve the eggs. The eggs have to be taken out in the same position they was found in. There we go. Ah. And another one. There you go. That's a Komodo egg. Now normally they can lay, as I said, lots of eggs, so let's have a go a bit deeper and see what else we can find. Yep, here's another one. Oh good. Okay, well now we've dug the eggs up. First thing I want to do is um, weigh them. Let's take them on a scale of here and get an idea of the weight of each egg. This one weighs 164 grams. Also, I want to take the size of it, measure the size of the eggs. Okay. As the eggs start to incubate, they'll start to grow, they'll get bigger and bigger. 88 millimeters. Nine. Okay. And. Right, now I'm going to put the eggs in a substrate to incubate them. This is stuff called perlite. They use to germinate seeds. It holds a lot of um, humidity and it's sterile. So I mix this two parts perlite to one pint water. Well, in the end, we managed to get. 32 eggs from this female, which is an excellent clutch. They've all been weighed and measured now. And I put them in the perlite with their water. And I'm just going to find room for the last two eggs. And then we stick them in the incubator. Okay, now all that's need to do is to put them in the incubator. We stick them in here at about 29 degrees. Right, stick the last box in, and hopefully in nine months, uh, we just have to wait. Okay, so we're two months into incubation now. Let's see how the eggs are getting on. Okay, well I've been weighing the eggs every month, and they've been slowly gaining in weight. So let's see what they're up to now. Egg 28, 220 grams. So that's put on about 50 grams so far in two months. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the, the egg into a dark room, shine a light inside, and we'll see if we can see the veins growing, which will tell me if the eggs are fertile or not. Let's see if we can see any veins. And there you go. 
You can see the trace work of blood veins going all over the surface of the egg. And this will supply the blood to the to the embryo. Six months have passed since the eggs were laid, so let's weigh them again and see how they get in on. Very carefully. Break them out. Two hundred and eighty two grams. Well there was on average one hundred and sixty five grams when they laid. So as you can see they've almost doubled in weight and now according to the, the people who have bred them before the, the weight that they actually start going now down before they hatch. But they're looking great. Here, which is now starting to collapse. Okay, I just want to check this egg now, which is starting to collapse. But according to the expert, this is quite normal. This is the smallest egg of them all, which is now 200 grams, and has actually lost 7 grams in the last month. Again, this is quite normal. The eggs should start losing weight now, but just before they hatch. Let's see. Yeah.